uh, we had a big meeting last week mm -hmm. about uh, uh, the preparation for the Tokyo Olympics, which uh, we will discuss in the General Assembly. And the board of the association were asking me uh, if I can lead the national team uh, and be the head of the, 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 the director for the national team mm. for all international competitions. Mm. And they, they want me to, to go with the national team around the world when there's competition mm. and uh, take care of the players and scout the opponents of these players mm. because next year will be the Asian Olympic qualifying and mm. the World Olympic qualifying. Mm. So we'll have, I'll have to make a uh, study on who among our fighters has the best shot to make it to the Olympics. Mm. But and the, the Olympics is uh, next year, right? Yes. Yeah, in Tokyo. In Tokyo. So... That's going to be just January to, to August. That's going to be very short. Yeah. Yeah. So we, I have to pre help pre the, the team prepare for that because the Olympics will be on September or August, I think. Mm -hmm. So we have that window mm -hmm. and they want me to, to, be, to, to, to lead the, the team mm -hmm. and see who among the fighters can qualify. Are we the dominant team in Southeast Asia? Because you were saying you have, you have Southeast Asia, you have Asia, and you have the world. And the toughest are in the Asia, Korea, China. Yes, they're stuff, the world champions. Or yeah. Vietnam, right? Yeah. But are we the dominant team in well, Southeast Asia? Uh, I would say we're in the top three. Okay. We're in the top three because mm -hmm. from 1987, when uh, Stephen Fernandez and I first uh, fought in the SEA Games and became SEA Games champion for the country, mm. there's not a SEA Games that the national taekwondo team competed in 89, 91, sunod -sunod until mm. now, no? mm. 2019, that uh, the Philippine national taekwondo team wasn't able to bring home gold medals. Mm -hmm. Hindi kami na zero. Lagi okay. kami may gold medal na uwi. Mm -hmm. Sometimes dalawa, sometimes tatlo, mm -hmm. sometimes lima, mm -hmm. but hindi kami na zero. Okay. We're like, it's a big team uh, and uh, uh, most, some, most of them win medals, uh, mm -hmm. bronze and silvers, but when you're talking about uh, being the best in Southeast Asia, yeah. only the gold matters. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. We really pushing them to get the gold. Like this weekend, we have 22 gold medals at stake. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of gold medals. Okay. So on 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 Saturday, uh, it's gonna be the forms division. Uh, I mean the, the pumse competition. Okay. That's like kata in in Japanese mm -hmm. pumse in, in taekwondo. So there, there's uh, at least uh, seven, seven, fourteen, twenty. Uh, six gold medals at stake on the first day. Mm -hmm. And then on the second day, on December 8th, Sunday, mm -hmm. will be seven gold medals. Okay. And then on the last day, on Monday, another seven gold medals. So that's mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. And we're, I'm targeting that we will sw not sweep, but at least get most of the gold medal mm -hmm. so the Philippine national taekwondo team becomes the overall champion in taekwondo in Southeast Asia. I asked you, what is Thailand and Vietnam doing right and you first said funding funding when, when you say proper funding like the training venue okay you got you gotta like you know we've been in this rizal memorial stadium yeah for god knows how long i've mm. been walking that 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 grounds for 40 years of my life mm -hmm. and when you see that gym mm -hmm. there's may mga poste sa gitna ng gym mm -hmm. and when you're sparring delikado yung may poste del you know, yun, uh, nagsasparring ka, tapos baka tatama ka. So, somebody has to make bantay. Mm, mm. When you go to the gyms of uh, other countries, it's huge, high ceiling, yeah. open space. Yeah. Ang ganda, may mga bags, you know, uh, kompleto sa gears. Padded, padded proper ventilation. Komplet, kompleto, yeah. And then, parang, wow. I mean, when I was in Ashgabat, Turkmenistan, and I saw mm. their training facilities, mm. I said, even I, at my age, I'm going to yeah. be a senior citizen in four years. Mm -hmm. I said, man, I want to come back and fight again and compete. If there's a 50-year-old division, sarap maglaro. Because it's so nice. It's so nice to train. Yeah, but you being, uh, right now, do you have a, an official position in government or in the sports community? Mm, right now, uh, none. 
Except for celebrity and legend. No, only in Taekwondo. In Taekwondo. Only in the Philippine Taekwondo okay. Association. I'm mm. the Secretary General. Okay. And so, NSA ka? NSA ako. Okay. And then, I'm the President of uh, the ASEAN mm. Taekwondo okay. Federation, yeah, ATF. Given that, plus the fact that uh, I think you're also uh, in touch or have connections with the administration, uh, mm. not a little, so much. A little. A little. A little. Okay, a little. Well, I have a I few mean, friends in Congress. Yesterday, yeah. Congressman Manny Lopez called me. He yeah. said, uh, I want to support Taekwondo. Yeah. What days are the ba the best days to go? Yeah. So I told him, you know, come. It'll be nice to see some yeah, congressmen but, yeah, come but over. Why don't you bring this congressman to those? Uh, how do you call the uh, the competition venue? Yeah, the, abroad. Be because you know, like uh, you, you you do know, I, I go to Victory Christian Fellowship, Every yeah. Nation, yeah. and all our churches have a set architectural design. The, the iglesia have a set, uh, and I'm like, all you have to do is to have the plans and just follow the, the the design. Why can't we have a uniform official design for these gyms or? Uh, well, after the Sea Games, I'm yeah. discussing with uh, Chairman Butch Ramirez. Yeah. Uh, there's a space at the back of uh, the Rizal Memorial Stadium mm -hmm. where uh, we want to put our association gym, mm. uh, like a really nice gym for the national team to train. Why not so. Clark? Because well, Clark also would be yeah, okay, but it, I don't know if it would be, because they all study around the university belt. Yeah. All these fighters study there. Yeah. So I don't know if, you know, Clark would be okay if it's like they go on LOA. Yeah. They have to leave school for one semester and just go there and train and prepare. Mm -hmm. But that will take a lot from their, their time and their life. Because I, I did that do before. Online education. So and stuff I don't know if that's possible. That we have to look look mm -hmm. onto that. Yeah. If that's a, a, a possibility. Yeah. So because I wrote about it and I said we need to locate a school inside that yes. athlete's village. Yes. Agree. University. Agree. So that Agree. they don't have to move. Agree. Okay. If we can do that, great. Mm -hmm. That's perfect for all athletes. Oh, dima Congress man ka na. <laughs> We'll see, Sito. That's 2022. We'll see. Right now, I'm not thinking of any political yeah. comebacks or any. I just want to focus on 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 trying to get that medal in the Olympics.